An incident involving Team 10 has a top media organization demanding an apology from the California State Parks and the owners of the San Onofrio Power Plant. Our crew was in a public place, but police and San Diego and San Onofre security demanded that we delete the video. But we didn't, and 10 News investigator Mitch Blocker wants to show it to you. Mitch? Yeah, guys, we were working on a series of stories that were critical of San Onofre and its management. We were getting shots of the facility from a public state beach when police and San Onofre staff demanded that we delete our video and leave. What do you mean we're not allowed to film? As per my boss. How can you tell us we're not allowed to film on a public beach? This is Bob Warman, a State Parks employee. We were here to get video of the San Onofre nuclear power plant when he stepped in and told us we were on private property. Where, where's the private property at? It doesn't say anything that there's private property. See that sign right there? On where? Concrete post, go read it. It says private property? Go read it. That doesn't look like a no trespassing sign to me. It says no parking, Bob. According to San Onofre spokeswoman, Bob Warman had been called by plant security. We were in the process of airing and preparing several stories about the plant, which has been idle for more than a year because of a radiation leak. Our reports revealed how nuclear experts and insiders felt restarting the plant was risky. They uncovered this picture showing plastic bags, duct tape and broomsticks used to seal a leaky industrial pipe inside the plant. We also reported on a Star Trek spoof shot in the plant's training simulator featuring senior plant managers. Hey, uh, in you need to roll somebody down here. When we told Warman we had the right to shoot on public property, he called for backup. In the distance and off camera, you can hear State Park's policeman, Inyo Roca, coming toward us. He immediately identified himself as a State Parks police officer. What's your name? Officer Roca. Officer Roca. Nice to meet you, sir. He asked for ID and ran a background check on our crew. As the camera rolled, it captured more than the signature twin domes of the nuclear facility. It watched a man go fishing and a woman walk her dog, all in the same spot where we had apparently been trespassing. They called us down here because they said there's people filming the nuclear generator. It's a high terrorist threat. They take it very seriously. Roca told us the FBI was being dispatched, though they never showed up. Okay. Being detained. They're going to come down here. Mm -hmm. You're going to explain your story. They're going to look at your footage. Eventually, a San Onofre employee dressed in SWAT gear told us to delete our video and leave the area. We left, but did not delete the video. If the public is allowed there, uh, then the press is allowed there. Mickey Ostriker is the National Press Photographers Association's lawyer. In his letter to San Onofre and the state parks, he cites the Privacy Protection Act of 1980, writing, there are no circumstances under which law enforcement or anyone else may order the deletion of files belonging to another person. He also brought up sites like Google Earth, which provide up-close overhead views of the plant. We searched Google Earth and found this picture, snapped from nearly the same spot where we took our video. There are far too many people that think that stopping somebody from taking uh, a, you know, a picture or, or a recording is going to help national security when in fact all, all it is is undermining our constitutional rights. So far the state parks legal department has responded only in part insisting our officers did not initiate the contact independently that they were responding to a request from the San Onofre nuclear generating station. Now, we only shot video from public property or areas we were directed to by State Park staff. San Onofre owner Southern California Edison told us that their security officer responded conservatively last month when he indicated to a television crew his preference that they stop filming and delete their video. SCE senior vice president said we take seriously our security responsibility to ensure that we protect public health and safety. Mitch, anyone on that beach can snap a picture. Yeah. So what happened to you? Can that happen to anyone? We, we have the same rights as any member of the public. So yeah, presumably it could happen to anybody. And, and we should mention, we are aware of the security concerns. We were taking wide shots. Our only interest was to show our audience what we were reporting on. If we wanted specific shots, as you saw, we could have simply pulled up Google Earth. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot to report on. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mitch.